Almost 8,000 eviction cases were filed in Maricopa County Justice Courts in August alone, making it the second highest month on record. That's a lot of people. 12 News Journalist Colleen Sakura looking into those numbers and what researchers think is happening here. We sat in eviction court in July and heard a number of cases across a crowded docket, often people owing a month of rent or less. And those who keep track of eviction cases across cities and states say Maricopa County is one of the top places for eviction filings in the country. Hey, we're at the 2.30 hour for the eviction hearing. From Moon Valley to the West Valley at Country Meadows Justice Court. That if somebody hasn't paid their rent and it's for a hardship reason that I am required to sign the judgment to the East Valley because rent is not paid today. I have to sign this judgment just part of thousands of eviction cases filed across Maricopa County in August. A total of 7,957 eviction cases were filed in justice courts. It's, it's just really hard times for a lot of people right now, making it the second highest number of eviction cases filed in a single month ever. And four out of the five highest months for eviction filings come from the past year. And there are enough filings for about 15 hours out of every hundred um, renter households, uh, making it one of the top um, places for eviction filings in the country. Um, this past month, we saw it as number three on our list of the cities that we track. Adam Chapnick, research specialist with the Eviction Lab, which tracks evictions in several cities and states across the country, says high rent is a big factor, saying one in every five renters in Maricopa County are earning below the median income. We're seeing um, cost burden on rent upwards of 30% as high as 80% for the lowest income groups. Renters just can't afford their rent. A struggle will Meister with Valley Tenants Union sees two. They're having to take on an another job, um, try to make money on this side just to keep affording rent and it's taking up more of their paychecks. And landlords moving quick to the eviction process. We're seeing them push on minor things, whether it's minor amounts of rent, or minor lease violations, maybe talking to people outside and you get a 10-day notice for a, a noise complaint. Um, it, it's, again, like I said, really abusive practices. For anyone who, you know, is getting that notice on the door, what do you want them to know? I want them to know that the Valley Tenants Union can have their backs. Um, I want them to know that um, they don't have to take it. If it doesn't seem right, there's a good chance that it's not right. Colleen Sakura, 12 News.